Hello everyone, it's Loretta. Good morning. It is the 24th of October in 2017 and I have a share for you. Um, I've been really, really busy and um, as many of you know, I have an Etsy store. So um, when I send out my orders, I like to have little thank you cards that I can send along um, that are um, handmade so that um, Folks who buy my stuff will um, be able to see my work as well as um, just have a really nice little note of thanks from me for their purchase. If you'd like to see what's in my Etsy store, go to my blog, LorettaRoger.com, and there is a link underneath the main blog header for my Etsy shop, and you can just click there. I will also try to remember to leave the link down below um, in the description box. So I'll show you these real quick. I still have scraps of this project on my desk. Um, I stamped a bunch of um, images. These are mostly flowers and um, using my Misty and then colored them with Copics. Then after that I just used my brother's scan and cut and cut them all. So it was a matter of just assembly line. These little cards are small. So their envelopes are a little bit oversized only because I cannot find a measurement that would fit this size card any better than the three and a half by seven and a half one that um, seems to work just fine, but there's that one. So they're all um, similar. I use scraps from my collection to make the um, pattern paper backgrounds. So there's an envelope that's missing its buddy. And I just, once the flowers were cut, I just used some foam adhesive and popped them up. So they have a tiny little bit of dimension without um, causing it to be too bulky because I don't want to increase the cost of my shipping. I really like this one. Um, this is the sunflower from Lawn Fawn, and the thank you is from a set that I bought from Simon Says Stamp, and I can't find the name of it. If I do find the name of the stamp set, I'll leave it down below in the description box as well. Um, this information will also be on my website, so don't forget to check out the post for that. But now I have plenty of little thank you cards to use. I apologize about the lighting. It's still earlier in the day, so the, the lighting is coming from that way. That way. And even with an extra light on my camera, it's not really helping too much. So this light will probably um, be better when I'm filming at night and don't have the... Uh, other noise, if you will, from the overhead light or the sun. So, But I do like my room because it is bright and sunny most of the day. So there's those. Try to move these out of my way. I bought myself a Levenger punch. Um, I got mine from eBay. Um, I paid $40 for it, which is cheap. All right, I um, used my Levenger punch to make this small journal. This is actually a gift for a senior buddy, and I'm part of the Chemo Angels. That information will be down below in the description box, as well as on my blog. So don't forget to check out LorettaRoger.com. But um, I did laminate these, and then I made some dividers. Now this is where a little bit of more practice is going to come into play because as you can see um, I thought it'd be a good idea to make this page a little shorter and smaller than the inside pages and the problem with that is lining up this um, the punch so even though it looks fine and nobody really would be the wiser um, if they weren't paper crafters I, I do want to um, do some practice but my um, 
I've had a laminator for many, many years, and um, and I do mean many. We figured it out last night at least like 10. But um, a piece of uh, paper about this big got caught on the roller and just kept rolling around and around and got stuck. So we unplugged it, hubby took it apart, and it worked like twice more, and then it just died. So we ran out to uh, Hobby Lobby last night and bought a new one. So, um, that's, um, how I finally was able to finish these. Um, I really like the new one. It's a scotch, and it, it scotch brand, I should say. And one of the things I really like about it is if you let it sit on your desk, say, five, ten minutes, and you're not using it, it will automatically turn itself off. So, that's just, um, a little tidbit of information for you. If you have, uh, liked this video, Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and share my videos on your social media. That would be very much appreciated. Um, I apologize once again for the lighting. It is um, early morning here and the sun is kind of competing with me. So anyway, stay happy, be a blessing. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.